Good day, everybody. Welcome back to It's a Small Vlog, and today I am at Disney's Hollywood Studios. This is not a park that I vlog at very often, and I got kind of a quicker video for you guys today. If you watched my Space 220 video that I did a while back, I think almost two years ago at that point, did a whole review of that restaurant, very impromptu trip. I have another impromptu trip at another restaurant I have not eaten at yet, and I thought it was worthy to vlog. So today, I'm gonna be eating in Toy Story Land at Woody's Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. This is a, it's like a relatively new restaurant. I think it's been open for, I think like just over a year. And you know, I haven't tried it and I've wanted to try it for quite some time now. And I figured today would be a good day. So a little impromptu trip here to the studios and you know, just gonna be having a nice lunch. The current time is 1.15. We have a reservation for just after 1.30 and it's gonna be kind of like my honest review of the food. I'm going in with like mid to low expectations. I've heard mixed things, but you know, I, I, I still think it'll be good. It's barbecue, you can't really mess that up. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna head over into Toy Story Land and go try out this new restaurant. All right, we have made it to Toy Story Land location-wise. Very easy to find. There's the Woody statue and it's right here, right next to Slinky Dog Bash. Literally right here, can't miss it. We're gonna go inside. Okay, this is what the entrance looks like. The entrance is really cute, very nice. And then over to the left, you have stroller parking right behind these bushes. So first impressions, it's super, super cute in here. It looks just like the concept art in case you haven't seen it. It smells very heavily of barbecue, which if you're a barbecue person, you are going to love this. And it's also bigger than I thought. Like it's a pretty decent sized restaurant. I don't think it's as big as Space 220, but I don't know, it's bigger than I thought. I thought it was gonna be like really small and congested in here. And it's really not. There's a lot of room to kind of breathe and walk around. So that's good. Okay, this is the menu. This is a lot of food. So they have some salads here. These are all of the meat items. We got smoked ribs, beef brisket, sausage, and barbecue chicken. Uh, there's also a plant-based option if you want that as well. And then sidewise, they have coleslaw, corn on the cob, mac and cheese, potato barrels, baked beans, and then of course, their dessert menu, which is one per guest. A lot of food. And again, this is a family-style meal that is served to your table. So here are some of the decorations. We got Trixie. The ceiling is a bunch of compiled board games, which is really cute. We got Woody and Bullseye over here. Bo Peep is back there. Very, very, very cute. And we, of course, we have the classic string lights that can be found all throughout the land and in Toy Story Mania as well. Very nice. All right, so these are our appetizers. So these are supposed to be one of the best things ever. These are cheddar biscuits with, I don't know what sauce that is, but we're gonna find out. Uh, a little mixed green salad and then some watermelon cubes and surprise guest, guess who's here with me? My cousin Nico. Shalom. He was kind enough to book us this reservation. So thank you for making this video happen. This video is sponsored by Nico. So thank you. You will appreciate that. What did you get to drink, a Sprite? Of course. Yes, and Nico is like a barbecue connoisseur, so I'm anxious to hear your thoughts. And then also, I forgot to mention, they automatically give you these uh, these three uh, barbecue sauces. So you have spicy, classic, and sweet. I heard the sweet is the best one. So yeah, we're gonna get to work on our appetizers. Again, drinks are included. I got a water and a sweet tea. Yeah, looks very, very good. That is so good. And I can't believe I'm saying this, if any of you guys have been to Red Lobster, you know how good those cheddar biscuits are. I am willing to say with confidence, I think these are better. These are delicious. Mm. Oh my God. They're great, they're hot, they're soft, they're flaky, they just tear apart, they melt in your mouth. Fantastic. I am gonna try them with this sauce. It's like a citrusy kind of herb sauce. I think I'm getting a little bit of, I don't know what I'm getting. 
it's weird. The sauce is fine. It's not bad. It's not my favorite. The biscuit by itself, very, very good. I'm not gonna bother wasting my time uh, talking to you guys about the watermelon or the salad because it's a mixed green salad. We all know what that tastes like and watermelon is delicious, so yeah. Okay, our food just came and we have a full table to say the least. We have a full table, so we'll go one by one. So we have corn on the cob right here. We got potato barrels, AKA tater tots. We got the meat basket, which comes with the baked beans right there with just a bunch of meat. I can't even name them all. And then over by Nico, that is the Slinky Dog mac and cheese. And then the coleslaw. We right got the there. meat, we got some ribs, chicken, sausage, and some brisket. Yes, I am very anxious to try all of this. We're getting an announcement, we gotta freeze. We did it. Woo! Yay! That's cool. I like how they do that. Anyway, now we're gonna get to eating. So the way I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna eat all my food first and then review it for y'all afterwards because this is meat we're talking about. I gotta cut it. I gotta consume it. So I'm gonna eat it all first and then I'm gonna do a nice review for you guys. Okay, now that I've gotten a chance to try everything. So before kinds of meat, a beef brisket, chicken, ribs, and pork sausage. Yes, that's all of them, okay. Chicken is great. It's on a drumstick, so obviously it has a bone in it, but I mean, it, it's super tender, melts in your mouth. Chicken was fantastic. Ribs, I'm biased. I don't care for ribs to begin with. I mean, they weren't bad. I don't think they were amazing. But yeah, that's just, I don't really care for ribs in general. The pork sausage, I don't, I haven't had pork sausage in a while, so I enjoyed it. I mean, it's not the best pork sausage I had, but I thought it was, I thought it was decent. It was decent pork sausage. And then the beef brisket, I was worried it was gonna be really fatty. It actually wasn't. It was beef, beef brisket was very good. So I would say my favorite is the chicken, then the brisket, then probably the pork sausage, then the ribs, just because I'm not a huge fan of ribs. Appetizer wise, the tater tots are great. The mac and cheese, I didn't have any mac and cheese, Nico did, but it's mac and cheese, can't really get wrong with it. The baked beans are fine. I Beans are not my favorite thing in the world, but they were pretty good nonetheless. Same thing with coleslaw, I'm not a huge coleslaw person, also pretty good. And then corn on the cob, also delicious, you can't go wrong. And this is our lovely waitress. No, you're good, she's, hi, hi she's one serving us. We, we're having a great time. Thank you so much. So very, very, very good overall though. Our awesome waitress just refilled our drinks. Remember, drinks are included. That also includes unlimited refills. We love that. You know, I know that the standout of the meal is supposed to be the meat. And don't get me wrong, the meat is good, most of it. Honestly, I think the best part of this meal and my personal favorite part was honestly those cheesy biscuits. They were to die for. They are so, so good. They're, they, they are, I don't know, they, they are just incredible biscuits. We haven't gotten a dessert yet, but I think I can say with confidence that that is easily the best part of this meal. They're just phenomenal. So when you come to Round of Rodeo Barbecue, you're coming for those biscuits. Just FYI, they are outstanding. Okay, our waitress was super duper sweet. She saw that I was videotaping and she brought us out all of the desserts. So we have the Forky Cupcake right here, which I believe is just a chocolate cupcake with a little buttercream frosting. I believe the Forky is a little cookie, so that's really cute. And then we have all four types of little uh, mini jar desserts. They're small, which is good. So we have a lemon blueberry cheesecake. Then we have chocolate silk pie. This pie. is a apple pie one. That was one that Nico got. And then this final one over here is, I, yeah, I think it's like a peach cobbler or something like that. Oh, something has to do with peach. So I got the chocolate one. I will taste test 
all four, but I'm mainly gonna go for the chocolate. And then of course we have the cute little cupcake. So huge thank you to our waitress. Okay, we're gonna start with the apple pie right here. Voila, looks very good. It tastes like fall. It tastes like delicious apple pie in the fall. Nothing wrong with it, excellent. All right, next up, we're going for the chocolate one, which is one that I originally got. Voila, we got a lot of cream with that one. Oh, that one is delicious. That one's very, very good. Not as rich as I thought either. Like the chocolate flavor is very prominent, super good. Not super rich though. Very good. All right, next up we have lemon blueberry cheesecake. I'm not really a huge cheesecake person, but we'll still try this. Voila. Whoa, that lemon. Not getting a whole lot of cheesecake, which I honestly don't mind. The lemon and the blueberry, sweet and sour. Very summery. It's a good combo. I prefer the apple pie and the chocolate one. This one's still good though. Just the lemon, you get you get a whole you get a whole mouthful of that lemon. You're like, whoa, like it's sour and then it's sweet with the blueberry on the bottom. Pretty good, very citrusy as well. All right, last one, we have our peach cobbler. Right here. So now that I remember correctly, I think it was a peach strawberry because it tastes like a strawberry shortcake. It tastes like the strawberry like compote that you would find on top of a strawberry shortcake. So if you like that, you're going to love this. I'm not really getting much peach here. I'm getting a lot of strawberry. And maybe that's actually what it was. I think it, now that I recall, I think it was actually mostly strawberry with some peach. Yeah, that would make more sense. Okay, good. I would say first place, the chocolate one. Second place, apple pie. Third place, strawberry, peach. Last place, blueberry, lemon. They're all very good. And that's just my order of preference. And they're nice and small after a huge meal. You probably don't really want a super sickeningly sweet big dessert. It's just enough. They're very good. And then we'll also try this little cupcake that we have as well. Okay, here's our cute little cupcake. Presentation, this is adorable. Uh, Forky is a cookie. And he's got little licorice arms, a buttercream frosting, and then the, the cupcake itself is a chocolate one. So there's something in the middle. It's like a little chocolate fudge surprise. <laughs> Look who's laughing at me. I just mutilated this poor cupcake. <laughs> it's a chocolate fudge surprise. Yep. Forky's face is very valid here. Look at it. Just... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I did this to you. Wow, okay. So I'm just gonna eat what I ripped off here. Yep. The, that's the cookie. The cookie's fine. It's just a sugar cookie. The chocolate in the middle is very good though. It makes it a little rich. The buttercream frosting is good. The crush is fun. Cookie's fine. It's not amazing. The cupcake is good. The cookie's just fine. It's cute. Kids are gonna love this. Just don't eat it like how I did. Yeah. Poor little guy. I just wanted to take a quick moment to thank our amazing server, Karima. She was so sweet. My pleasure. We had an amazing time, both our first times here. Thank and you just, so much for coming. I hope thank to see you. you guys again. Yes, thank you. I hope so pleasure. too. Thank you. So thank much. you. Thank Have you. Have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.
before we leave, one last shot of this super cute atmosphere plus Nico. Really cute in here. They did an excellent job. We'll see you next time. All right, we just got done, and I realized, Nico, you never gave your thoughts about the food. I mean, you were enjoying like every moment of it. So, what did you think of the appetizers, entrees, sides, desserts? What did you think? Oh, uh, they're delicious. The mac and cheese, nice and creamy. Mm -hmm. And then you had the ribs, were one of my personal favorites. Love ribs. Oh, I'm, glad, I'm good. I'm glad you enjoyed those. Chicken was delicious. I wasn't a big fan of the uh, pork sausage. Yeah, pork sausage was decent, but that chicken, oh my god, excellent. That was easily, I think, the so highlight. The chicken one. was fantastic. And really, then, uh, really good. The ribs were fantastic as well. Then the cupcake was very exquisite. It was exquisite. It was definitely exquisite. It was, yeah, it was good. What would you, you have a favorite part of the meal at all? Eating. Eating? Anything specific? The ribs. The ribs. Okay. He's a ribs guy. I am not. So don't take my. What's the skeleton's favorite snack? Ribs. Spare ribs. That is your joke of the day, everybody. Well, you're getting a vlog, a food review, and corny jokes all in one. What more could you ask for? So, again, don't take my word for the ribs, because I'm just not a ribs guy. He's like a ribs connoisseur. So, yeah. Anyway, well, that's good. Very enjoyable time. I think we're going to go head over to the Chinese Theater, and we'll go wrap up in the same place that we started. Okay, back in front of the... Chinese theater. My final thoughts on the restaurant, it was good. It exceeded my expectations. I didn't really go in with super high expectations. It's great for families. The kids are gonna love it. There's a lot of like interactive stuff as well, wouldn't you say? Like some of the stuff like the Andy's coming was kind of cool. I like freezing. Yeah, that was fun. Cause also that was kind of like a little like trend that people did a few years ago. So it's kind of like a little nod to it, which is cool. Yeah, it was good. Would I go back? Yes, I would. Will I be back frequently? Probably not. It, you know, it is pricey. You do get a lot of food, though. You get a all lot of food. Eat. It's all you can eat. You can reorder anything you want from the menu. The atmosphere is really, really cute. I think it's a nice addition to the area. And it's been open for about a year now. And honestly, reservation-wise, I don't think it's terribly hard to get them. I don't know. You made the reservation. What do you think? Was it, like, super hard to get? Nope. Yeah, I didn't think so. Like... It's, it's not super uncommon to see reservations available. That's pretty much going to wrap this video up. So if you enjoyed, like, subscribe, turn those notifications on. Check me out on Instagram as well. And comment down below if you have ever eaten at this restaurant. If you have, let me know about your experience. And if you haven't, is this a bucket list item for you to do it here at Hollywood Studios? Restaurant-wise, Hollywood Studios, in my opinion, does not have the best variety of sit-down restaurants. So I think this definitely adds some barbecue flavor to the park. You know, I just, it was good. Good experience overall. And yeah, and shout out to Karina, our amazing waitress. But my name is Bobby. Hi, Mom. This is Nico. Hi, Godmother. My name is Bobby. This is Nico. And... Fall out of the way. Have a magical day, everybody. Goodbye.